What's up, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tiny Natural and I'm back with another video. So on today, your girl is doing a perm rod set. Super excited. Uh, just got my package. I have several sizes in here. I have one, two, three, four. I have four different sizes in this package. Just in case I want different sizes. So so glad I got this pack, got it off of Amazon, and I'm still debating what color I should use. So today, we are starting off on freshly washed hair. My hair is twisted up underneath the bonnet, and I'm going to rehydrate my hair because when I added the leave-in, I didn't um, lock in the moisture with an oil, which is my fault. So I am about to re-wet my hair with my water and aloe, and then I'm going to take my new oil that I am actually doing a product review on as well, which is the Zena hair growth oil, moisturizing hair growth oil. It increases uh, hair thickness, manageability, and aids in growth retention. So this is what it looks like. And it's got a lot of bomb ingredients in here and everything is organic. So I really love that. Then I'm going to be adding my avocado oil and shea butter to lock in um, the moisture because your girl do not want no dry curls. Then we're gonna take the Cream of Nature uh, Curl Quenching Foaming Mousse and it's made with coconut milk, which is one of my favorite ingredients. So I'm super excited to try this. I have never tried this one before. So we're about to see what this product do. So let's jump right into it. I know. This is what my hair looks like. It's freshly washed, um, it is dry. So I am about to apply moisture to it, but I'm gonna do it in smaller sections at a time because I wanna use at least about 20 something um, rods on my hair. Okay, so we're taking our spray bottle. First, let me pin up any loose hairs. So we want those out of the way. And let's see. All right. So I'm just going to unravel this. And we're just going to rub that water concoction into my section here. I am splitting this section, by the way. I'm not going to keep it this big uh, because I want my curls to be as defined as possible. So now we're gonna take our oil. Let me give it a nice shake just to make sure that the ingredients are nice and mixed up. This is what the oil is looking like. So actually, I'm just gonna put this on my hands like this. Rub that in. Here we go. Okay, after that, we're gonna take our butter. B -b 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 butter. And this is just a great moisturizer. I use it in my son's hair all the time when I do his hair. And all I gotta do is wet it and add this. And his hair uh, pretty much stays moisturized because this has the avocado oil, which penetrates the strands. And then it has the um, shea butter, which moisturizes your hair as well. So my hair is nice and moisturized now through this section. So I'm gonna give it a nice little brush at the ends first. Always wanna brush at the ends so that you aren't creating snags or breakage. 
Okay, now that we have this all nice and moisturized, now we're gonna take our foam. So hard for me to grip. I'm starting off with that much. I'm just gonna get the bottom of my hair real quick. As you know, the, this is water-based, so my hair is definitely going to curl up, but that's okay. And I think I'm gonna do three parts. And this is how the packs came. These yellow and green ones seem like they're the same size. I'm going to use the orange ones. Oops. So I'm just going to take the ends of my hair like this. Let me brush it just one more time just to make sure I got all the hair. All right, so we're just going to take the ends of my hair like this and just wrap it around the ends. Then we're gonna take my hair and wrap over it. Then we're going to spiral the curl, like such. Then after you're done, you wanna take this piece and fold it over the piece you wanna take it and fold it over the piece that's going over the roller, like this. Make it tight. You wanna also be careful that you don't snag any other hair while you're doing this, because it's easy to do. And that's why you see me redoing it because we don't wanna cause any damage to our hair. And once you're finished, this is how it should look. It should be nice and secure it shouldn't be bouncing around it shouldn't be unraveling it should be nice and secure in place and now i'm just going to move on to the next section and i'm going to begin with my dimming brush because it's already moisturized and it's detangled so i just want to give it that last little brush just to make sure that everything is detangled completely all right, and now I am taking the next section and I'm splitting that into two, moving one out of the way so I don't accidentally snag it. And we're gonna take the very ends of the hair and just wrap it around the bottom. And then we're going to start spiraling it around till we get to the very top. And we're gonna make sure that that is nice and tight. And then we're going to put the top on so it does not move and it's nice and secure. And now I'm going to speed the video up just for the sake of time. sides are thinner or more finer than the rest of my hair I'll say so I used the purple pink ones because I felt that they were a better size instead of the orange ones since I was going to be running out of the orange ones so I was like I'm going to just use the purple ones and use the orange ones for the other side of my head so I don't run out before I get to the other side Oh, 
All right, so your girl is all finished. So I'm gonna let this dry and we'll be back. Okay, so my hair is finally dry and I'm taking off the scarf because your girl had a scarf in the bonnet on because I did not wanna risk the curls coming down or coming a loose. And as you see, the curls is popping. Let me slow it down for you just for a second. So now that I slowed it down for you, what y'all think? Now I do want to remind you guys, you do want to be gentle when you unravel this and you do want to make sure that you're taking them down in a winding motion so that you do not affect the curl. And I'm just speeding this up so that's why it's going really fast because I do not want to make this part too long. Also, your girl had some technical difficulties when I was separating the curls. For some reason, my playback does not want to play back. So I skipped on to the final look and as y'all can see, the curls is popping, okay? Fluffy, bouncy, moisturized. A girl couldn't ask for more. The curls came through for you, girl. So it is a little shrunken, but that's okay because we want healthy hair overall anyway. We don't want long hair and then it ain't healthy, right? So I definitely encourage y'all to use this Cream of Nature product. This product right here, y'all, is bomb. This Cream of Nature coconut milk. Yes, yes, Lord. Y'all needs to try this because as you can see, my curls is light. They're not heavy at all. And the curls came out so good. So good. If y'all enjoyed this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the family if you have not already. Come on, come on in, come on in, come on in. Cause I know y'all be watching, but y'all be subscribing. What's up? Y'all gotta check in with sis. Y'all gotta subscribe. So for all my OGs, thank y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. You know, we family to the end. We just trying to get some more members in the community. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep going y'all. And remember, always like and love your hair. And on that note, I'm out of here. All right?